Hello, hello, and welcome to another one of my vlogs. I hope you're all keeping well and managing to get out for a ride during the uh, pandemic. As I mentioned in uh, my vlog at 100 kilometers in Billingham, there might be a new definition of what's acceptable as a ride for us during this time. And I was right. The new definition appears to be that as long as you start and finish at home, and are self-sufficient, i.e. don't have to stop for any supplies and don't meet up with anybody apart from your one rider that can accompany you then you can go as far and as for long as you like well that's just uh, the result of Boris being found seven miles away from his home in London in a totally different district of the city having said that, today I'm out to ride a few of the roads I haven't ridden for a little while and maybe even to get onto a totally new one we'll see if we can get onto that later on but now we'll continue on our way by going up the hill in Blakeson Lane you can just see the start of it here and it gets even steeper round the corner continue along here, turn left at the junction and make our way back towards Norton where we'll cross the railway level crossing oh no we won't, we'll go this way no we've had to go a different way Signs the uh, level crossing closed for roadworks, so we'll have to make the usual way through Thorp Hughes and to Carroll. I've had to use the usual route up the hill from Thorp Hughes to get to uh, Carrollton here. We would have come up the road behind there. Now we're back on track. We'll get along here and we'll get our way back towards Stockton next. The roads are still flooded in places and off to the right is Deeside Model Flying Club airstrip which is completely underwater. As we come to the bottom of Red Marshall Lane we'll turn right onto Darlington Lane along to Sadbear. I haven't been along this road for quite a while. Except for when I've uh, used this junction to cross over from Bishopton to go over the A66. I'm glad that they've changed the rules regarding cycle rides. I always thought it was a bit silly to stay local and have to stay within a town where there was significant chance of actually meeting up with other people. Whereas, out here in the countryside, I must be quite a distance away from anybody who isn't protected by a vehicle. Just entering Sadbears now. Where we'll go up to the crossroads and turn left, making for Middleton St George. The road here has been repaired in several places using a high pressure asphalt sprayer. In doing so, they've used circular motions to, fo to force the tarmac into place. 
but haven't bothered to uh, use any roller to flatten it. It's an absolute nightmare to cycle over. We're at Middleton St George now, and I'm going to turn right here, make my way down to Neesham and Harworth. Dinsdale Golf Club's coming up here on the left where in non-Covid times you'd be welcome to the uh, club cafe for some uh, refreshments this flooding doesn't bode well for the road I'm hoping to use now it's uh, down the hill to Nisham turn right and make our way out to Harworth One of my passions is just to look at a map and find a road that I've never been on before. Where does it go? What's it like? Can I get on it on the bike? Well today we're going to have a look at a road actually marked as a bridleway that runs over a bridge just at the outskirts of Harworth. It should run across to a loop of road that's accessible from the busy A167. However, I'm not sure if it's tarmacked or if it's mud or just gravel or what. So we'll go and have a look at it today. This is the outskirts of Harworth and it's this bridge on the left that's almost made me wonder whether I could uh, get through to do a loop of the roads on the other side. So far, it's tarmacked, but there's a lot of potholes in it, but it's quite easy to make your way along. Just take care. Watch out for the loose stones as there is ahead, and don't try to rush it. I think from here you can see this is not the best idea today. It's flooded, it's mucky, and it's probably best used in the summer with a touring bike like mine. So I'll just have to turn back today. Well, I tried it. Not successful this time. So it looks like it's just back over the bridge. And then I'm not sure what to do. Should I go back the way that I came and go up the big hill at Nisham? Or should I go out through Darlington? Yeah, it's all through houses at Darlington. So I think I'm going to go back up to Middleton St George and then down through Middleton One Row. And now I know how I got here so quickly. Wind was right behind me. Now it's in my face, all the way home. Turning left to go back up Haitian Bank. A little bit harder today with the wind straight in our face. Just put it in the lowest chain ring and just ease it up the hill. Be a lot easier if the road wasn't so rough do with uh, getting part of this resurfaced. And at the top of the hill is Cold Comfort Farm. I don't think it was the inspiration for the book of the same name. Back in the back in the I'm going to take the right turn then go down to Middle One Row. So leaving Middle One Row, I'm going to carry on and go through Aisley Bay and come out towards uh, Eagles Cliff. Now we come to the first of the two climbs of the run across the Eagles Cliff. There's 
some really good views across to the Cleveland Hills today. And on one or two of the moors, there's still some snow. Fantastic view over there. And as you can see, there's been a lot of water here, flooding just in front of me. And now we come to the climb up and over the railway to reach Eagles Cliff. Just use your gear. And ease it up the hill. No need to rush. And off up the arm road. As you can see, it's uh, quite busy along here today. into Stockton where we'll use St John's Crossing and Victoria Bridge to make our way past the University and to the Barrage. With all the rain we've had recently there's quite a lot of water flowing over the Barrage at the moment. It's good to see that even on a cold windy day there's plenty of people out getting their daily exercise. Now all that's left for me to do is to cycle back up the side of the A19 to Billingham. And you can see that the A19 is quite quiet today. Quieter than, than Yarm Road I think. I didn't manage to get through the uh, Bridal Way at Turworth but I can't say that it's been a failure it's been a brilliant day I've enjoyed being out in the sunshine in the wind, in the cold what else could you ask for? hope you enjoy the video until we meet again bye for now stay safe